congratulations on Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. It is truly the best Mission Impossible yet, I think. Thank you. How, how did you get attracted to making the film? I, I was in the third film um, in a small capacity as Benji. Um, you sort of see him back in the labs at IMF um, doing sort of computer work. And J.J. Um, Abrams and myself always had this kind of joke, a running joke, that if there was a fourth film, then Benji would be an agent out in the field. And it was, it was something that we used to kind of have fun with on the set of Star Trek, but I never thought would actually happen. And then, you know, I got an email from J.J. one morning saying, OK, we're doing that. So it, it was, for me, it was a no-brainer. I, I, was, I was very excited to be part of it. What attracted you to the character Benji when you saw it on the script? Well, he's just a really fun sort of character, and uh, you know, he's he's a kind of clearly like a British man living in America, and uh, he's probably been headhunted because he's very good with computers and and technology, and but he's he's still quite wide-eyed and, and 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 in awe of everything, you know. And so when he's out in the field, actually, you know, in operation doing missions, he still brings that slightly puppyish, childlike wonder to everything, and he's very impressed to be working with with Ethan Hunt, you know, I, I kind of draw comparal uh, parallels with my own <laughs> relationship with Tom in a way, because, you know, I feel like that. I'm like this kind of wet behind the ears, sort of uh, slightly inexperienced actor uh, working alongside, you know, one of the all time great actors ever. So I, I kind of channel that into my relationship as Benji with Ethan. Right. You know, and the other beauty about the movie is I think Brad Bird is a great storyteller. But when you first heard that Brad Bird was attached to direct, what did you think? I thought it was a genius idea. I, I, I think that Tom and JJ, you know, were incredibly clever to, to realize that Brad, of course, could apply all the skills that he has as an animator to the, to the real world and, and, and bring the same excitement and humor and staging uh, to, to this film as he did to The Incredibles and to Ratatouille and, and The Iron Giant. It was a stroke of genius, I think. What, what was his directing style? He's very attentive as a director, Brad. He, he's everything you really need as an actor. You know, it's sometimes you work with directors who don't really tell you what to do, and you need that. You need to be directed to feel like you're doing the right thing. And Brad is very specific about what he wants. He'll come up after a take and have a conversation with you and say, try it this way, try it this way. And you, you feel really comfortable and, and secure with him. And I, I love that about Brad. He's a, he's a real actor's director. Right. One of the things that this Mission Impossible accomplished is that seemingly impossible mission of making the franchise and Mr. Tom Cruise cool again, really. Yeah, I, it's, I mean, it was a great experience. Tom, Tom is an inspiration. He, he kind of he commits himself so utterly to his job. You know, he cares so much about his audience and, and, and making the film good. He's not just in this for, for shallow reasons. He, he genuinely is committed to his sort of craft. And that's very, it's, it's, that's, it's really inspiring to see that. He, you know, he went out on that building and he did that stunt because he knows that the audience are gonna feel more tense knowing that it's him and not a stuntman or, or done in the computer. And, you know, once you get through all the, the sort of mist of, of myth that surrounds him, he's, he's, he's a really cool guy, you know. He's, right. he's, he's really fun to be around. Well, thank you again and congratulations again, Mr. Simon. Thank you. And you have a wonderful Christmas, okay? You too, absolutely. Right. Thank you.